Welcome. In today's video, I will quickly guide you on how to set up a Helium Mobile Outdoor Hotspot to ensure it is correctly installed to start earning mobile tokens. Any relevant links will be provided in the description below. Unboxing the hotspot, at a glance you are provided with the Helium Mobile Hotspot, four short mounting screws and two long mounting screws to be used for the mount and brackets, an RJ45 cable guard, a tilt and swivel mount which is used to alter the angle of the hotspot, a mounting bracket to mount the hotspot to a pole or wall, two hose clamps to mount the hotspot and the Helium Mobile information pamphlet. What the hotspot does not come with is accessories to get it powered up, so it would be beneficial to purchase these at the same time as you purchase the hotspot. What is required is a PoE power over Ethernet injector. This will add power to the Ethernet cable to run to the Helium hotspot. An Ethernet cable jumper, which will be used to wire through a window. Three Cat6 Ethernet cables. If you are not feeding the Ethernet cable through a window, you will only require two Cat6 Ethernet cables and no need for any Ethernet jumper cable. Make sure to choose Cat cables with a length that will match where your hotspot will be placed as the cable will most likely run from the indoor modem to wherever you will be placing it outside. Try to measure this up beforehand and leave some leeway for extra cable if needed. Extra items to be used can be a pole to mount the hotspot on and zip ties to route the cable from indoors to outdoors. Once you have all the equipment ready, to get it all up and running, you will require to download the Helium Builder app. Download the app from the Google Play or Apple Play Store. Launching the app, select on Deploy in the top right hand corner and then choose the Helium Mobile Hotspot Outdoor. You will now be prompted with a few tips. First is to make sure to take a picture of the QR code which can be found on the box or on the back of the miner. Second of all, before deploying the miner, have an idea of the best position you have it placed. The third point, position the hotspot high up, ideally with an open view and not much interference in its line of sight. And finally, the last tip is to mount the hotspot to a pole. This is not mandatory, as you can mount it to any structure to get the job done. You will then be prompted to set up the hotspot. The first step is to connect the first Ethernet cable. One side of the cable will be inserted into the back of your home internet modem, and the other side will be inserted into the data in Ethernet port on the PoE injector. Make sure to plug the PoE injector to a mains power supply. The second step is to connect the second Ethernet cable to the data and power out Ethernet port on the PoE injector and the other side of the cable to the Ethernet jumper cable. Please note, if you do not require an Ethernet jumper cable, the cable will be inserted directly into the Helium Hotspot Ethernet port. The third step is to plug in the Ethernet cord into the other side of the Ethernet jumper cable. The other side of the cable is then to be inserted into the Helium hotspot. But before plugging in, this will be an ideal time to mount the hotspot to the location you have prepared. Mounting is fairly simple, however note that with the brackets fixed to the hotspot, the unit does become quite heavy. So put that into consideration based on where you plan to mount it. You ideally want a solid sturdy pole. Once you have mounted the hotspot, plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into the hotspot. A blue light will start flashing, and about 2 minutes later, it should be a solid blue. Once solid, return back to the Helium Builder app and select the status light as solid blue. The next step is to scan the QR code on the back of the box or back of the Helium Mobile hotspot. This can also be entered manually. You would then be prompted to join the network. Select Join, then select Allow. Then confirm the location of where you have deployed the hotspot and select it looks correct. You will then be required to select how high the hotspot is placed off the ground and then select set height. The next step is to specify the angle the hotspot is facing. This can be done by standing behind the hotspot and using the app to point to the correct direction. In my case it was 90 degrees. Then select set direction. And the final step is to register the hotspot and you will now have successfully deployed your Helium Mobile Hotspot to the network. You can cross-check this by heading back onto the homepage of the Helium Builder app and under the Fleet and Hotspots tab, the hotspot should appear. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.